head softball coach Katie Anderson after the Vikings split doubleheader over uh, against Carthage College. They lose the first game 5-3, but they come back to win the second game 3-2. Katie, let's let's talk, focus a little bit more on that second game. Um, just a no-quit attitude once again in the, uh, with the ladies, and this is now their fourth conference win already. Talk a bit about what just they're, they're doing at this point in the season. Well, I mean, there's, there's nothing that's done on that field that's not a team effort this year. And either we win to get together as a team or we lose together as a team, and, and that's kind of how it's been. So they are, I think we talked about this last time, they're starting to believe in themselves yeah. a little bit more and believe in their efforts and believe what their efforts can can accomplish when it comes to success on the softball field. And and like I like I told them, we're, we're setting ourselves up pretty. We, we just keep doing what needs to be done. And I think little by little they're going to start seeing – uh, we're going to start seeing a little bit more out of each one of them and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, and it's gonna, it's, we're going to surprise a bunch of people that way. So um, it's a fun day. It's a fun, fun game to be a part of. Katie threw great. Um, Kylie did great behind the plate. Bats started to heat up. Unfortunately, today it, it just took a little while. So we had, to, we had to wait most of that first game. until yeah. the, they, they didn't heat up until the seventh inning. But um, good thing they came back that second game, did what needed to be done, held them off. And that's a really good hitting team. That's a good, solid ball club. And, and uh, we did what we needed to do to, to get the job done. So I was proud of them today. Yeah, talk about that, that last uh, inning. I mean, you know, they come back, get that run after the tie game to go up 3-2, and then they come back with those two quick outs, and then things kind of were a little shaky there. Carthage goes, gets a couple runners on base, but the poise of the girls just stays right there. And just talk about what, what they were able to do in that situation. They just – they – did what they had to do you know they know and, and we've talked about in the past that that's part of the game they're going to get runners on they're going to get hits uh they're we're going to get strikeouts they're going to get strikeouts it's a part of the game it's how you come back it's not about if you walk somebody it's not about if you give up a home run it's not about if you strike out at the plate it's about what happens the next time you have the ability to make a play on the field or having it bat or something like that what happens that time and they're starting to come back better their failure recovery is getting a little bit better which is fantastic to see and and there have been games that we've played this year where something happens, there's an error or a walk or something like that, and it looks like you can tell by their faces that, that the world's over. Yeah. And I haven't seen that look in a little while, which, which is a good thing, and that means that they're believing in themselves, they're believing in in coming back from things like that and realizing that that's a part of the game, and, and you have to be able to cut off, cut off innings like that, and that's exactly what they did. They didn't let runners on base phase them even a little bit. They just did the job that they needed to do. So what do you guys got to do now to keep this momentum rolling until the end of the season and get that elusive uh, playoff spot? Well, we've played uh, probably out of all of our teams in our conference, we've played the most games so far. Uh, we've gotten a majority of our schedule done. We only have two doubleheaders left, one against Milliken and one against uh, North Central. So yeah. uh, we have a week until we play again, so we're going to take a couple days off here and heal up some bumps and bruises that we have, try to come back a little bit in, in better physical shape for practice on Wednesday. And, and uh, I think they need to keep having fun. It's a game. You never know what's going to happen. You never know who's going to end up where. So at the end of the day, as long as you had fun while you did it, that's success.